Coach Skipper, three weeks ago today you guys started fall camp. Where's the team at compared to that point tonight? Oh, we're light years ahead of where we were. Um, just when we first started out, I was just getting that first practice in, uh, getting used to the schedule because we made little tweaks and things like that. But now we're at the point where we're getting the special situations done, all the little things. And then after we get through Saturday, I'll feel a lot better because Saturday, Friday and Saturday, we have a lot of stuff going in. How do you prepare your team for what they're about to see in the big house in terms of atmosphere and fans, 100,000 people? You know, our, our tradition around here, we'll go anywhere. So, you know, we're kind of just building off of that. You know, we've been watching film for a long, long time. We see the crowd. We see it's packed. But to be honest with you, it's very exciting. I think we're a type of program that likes these big-time atmospheres. So it'll be fun. It's a night kickoff. There's not very many in Michigan football that way. So feel a little special in that way. So we'll be ready to go. You know, Michigan has a bigger conference now. Everything else kind of expanded in college football. With so much realignment going on in college football, how do you see Fresno State fitting into the picture uh, this season and seasons to come? You know, to me, as long as you win, it takes care of itself. We just got to go out on the field and take care of business, and people will want us. You know, they want winners. So we need to take care of business, um, do everything with first-class attitude mentality, and we'll be fine. We'll let the chips fall with all that other stuff. It's out of our control, so why worry about it? What are some highlight plays you saw today specifically from the offense? Uh, so today was kind of uh, we were separated offense and defense, but we did a lot of our uh, specialty plays, let's say, and uh, just like the way we executed because it was all new stuff, stuff we haven't done all camp. So uh, I like the way we executed. It wasn't any certain guys. It was a unit just executing and working together. Blackout unis, I think you had a chance to reveal them to the team a couple of days ago. What are your thoughts on that type of uniform? I liked it. I mean, I think it looked real sweet. I like the way the number 51 looked in it, you know, could see myself wearing that back in the 90s. So wish we would have did it then, but I know Coach Hill would have never done that. But um, I like it. I'm excited for it. I think it'll be good. It's right in the middle of the season. You got San Jose game. There's a whole lot of stuff going on, Ron Cox. You got everything going on that day, so it'll be fun. Is that a recruiting tool, you think, for some future Bulldogs? If like they see that Bulldogs wear more than just red, they wear blue, they wear black, they wear white. Recruits love swag, so they got it. We got we have different unis, we have all that stuff. So if you want to have all that and the ability to wear black, come on over here. So this isn't your first away game as a head, an interim head coach because you've had the bowl game. Do you think that plays in your favor a little bit? Uh, a little bit, you know, just gets the kinks out, but. I really, I don't think the bowl game is going to have any bearing on how the season plays out other than the guys are used to how I talk and my philosophies and all that stuff. So we'll just build on that. But uh, come next Saturday, that game is going to be a long, long memory. We have to do what we have to do. Do you think there is actually a gap that exists between the Michigans of the world and the Fresno States of the world, like in terms of facilities and money? Uh, money is a huge gap, big gap. <laughs> so uh, that's the biggest thing. But at the end of the day, once the kickoff comes, they're humans, we're humans, let the best team win. But before kickoff and all the time before that, yeah, money's a big deal. How do you make up that money gap? Uh, great question. If I knew, I'd get it done. No, um, I mean, like, because like, you guys had different types of money, but how do you, like, you know, seal that gap and make sure it doesn't show up on the We floor? maximize what we have here. We have to be the best versions of ourselves. Whatever they're doing, they're doing. I don't know what they're doing with their money. But with our money, we maximize it and be the best versions of ourselves, and we'll be fine.